ahead and show you how I rig this up, how I fish it. It's all right tournament fish. Okay, so today I'm gonna be going over the jig that I've been throwing on a lot of my videos and catching fish on in tournaments, practice, and things like that. I've had some people that were requesting for me to basically show you how I rig it and what I throw it on. So basically, let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm out here on Lake Lanier. Um, I'm on a just fairly clear water on this side of the lake. So um, normally I have all of this set up before I come out on the water, but today I'll go ahead and rig one up. Um, then we'll go and hit one or two spots and show you how I catch them. So first, I use a rage tail. And this is the rage baby crawl. Um, I like starting off with the green pumpkin. Um, just something basic. color I like to use it doesn't have the, the color on here but let me see if you can see that all right so let's get this opened up So when I'm at home, I'll take the time to go ahead and trim some of this. So you see how when you pull it down, it goes below the hook. I like to trim that off so that it actually be about the same length of the hook. So I separate the top and bottom. So the top part of the skirt will flare out a little more. So I'll cut that a little shorter that to flare out and the length of the bottom part is right about at the bottom of the hook so I do that like that now I take the rage tail crawl the baby crawl separate the arms then if you look down here you can see the different one two three four little notches on here so I cut that top one off I like for it to be a little more compact Whenever I fish this, just slide this on here. You want to make sure you keep it centered and just get it to where the crawl will line up. Stay straight. Go. All right, perfect. All right, there we go. Now the final thing I like to do to this is take some chartreuse, JJ's magic. And I try to keep it as subtle as possible. So I'll just barely dip tips of the claws in there and you don't need a lot at all I don't know if you can see it on the video here but you don't need a lot of that at all all right so there you go all right so Let's go ahead and get this tied on. So I'm going to be throwing this on my Revo Rocket with a 7.3 medium heavy. This is a ducket casting rod. And for 
it's clear water, I kind of keep the line light. So I'll throw it on eight pound line sometimes, but pretty much I stay consistent with Seaguar, a Brazex 10 pound line. And just tie a quick polymer knot on here. go now let's ride out and go catch a few okay so one of the thing I wanted to show you real quick before we get started is if you notice on the way these hooks are set up they kind of point straight at that weed guard and from my experience whenever I try to stick some of these fish especially some of the bigger ones that angle of that hook will not stick the fish good enough for me so what I do is I take this and bend it up so that it kind of points right towards the top of that weed guard. All right, so once we do that, now we're ready to get started. Let's get 